up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a video all about what college life is actually like sorry if it's a little bit windy i'm filming outside but a lot of things that i realized when i went to college i was like oh this is a little bit different than i thought it would be like so especially for freshmen this video is going to apply but i hope it shows you guys what um college is actually like and what you guys should expect coming this video is going to be geared towards William and Mary kids as always go to William and Mary but with that being said let's go ahead and let's jump right into the video and just talk about what college life is actually like <laughs> all right let's start off with what your classes are going to be like so in reality when you walk into class this is going to be specifically for your bigger lectures no one talks to each other pretty much like everyone just sits comes in sits down and then waits and what's weird about college is that if you could walk in at let's say your class starts at noon if you walk in at 11 59 and 58 seconds class has not begun yet everyone is sitting waiting for class to start whatever the second that it hits noon class is beginning so if you walk in at noon and one second class is already like full swing into class whatever so people can show up like right before class starts and still be okay but also some people show up early whatever but the point is that class begins the second class begins and class ends the second class ends so like in high school like you don't get to lollygag around and like teachers can't hold you after class whatever when class starts class starts when class ends class ends because that's what you're paying for you're paying for, for like 50 minutes of class or however long it is and that's all that you're going to get additionally with, with big lecture classes you're probably not going to know your professor very well you're just going to know their name and then they probably won't know who you are either they probably have a ton of sections of the same class that they're doing so they'll just know you as a person on their excel spreadsheet when they put grades in unless you like go out of your way to meet them during office hours otherwise you're just another student to them and you're probably not gonna know them very well but for smaller classes especially at william mary if your class is like a call class or 10 to 15 people something like that you're going to get really close to your professor and they'll know your name know like a lot about you probably you'll email them be in close contact with them you'll know people in your class so big lectures to small classes that is the difference in that next um basically your professors treat you as complete adults like it is a huge jump from high school they know that you're living on your own you're paying for your schooling now if you didn't already if you went to public school and they are going to hold you accountable and you're basically in charge of your life so if you don't come to class that's your choice you don't come to class if you don't turn in an assignment that's your choice you know you don't turn in your assignment they're not going to constantly be checking in on you like your high school teachers are your high school teachers are going to be like okay make sure you know the homework's due so and so and come tomorrow prepared with this and this and is everyone doing okay just want to check in make sure your work is getting done yeah so it doesn't happen in college at all if you choose to show up you show up and if you don't show up you don't show up especially in big lectures no one really knows if you do your work and you turn it in you get the grade if you don't turn it in you'll just immediately get a zero and you'll have to reach out to your professor they don't reach out to you at all for the most part so that's a big difference in college too they really just hold you accountable for um, your own life because you're in charge of yourself in college so that's really different and same with your advisors your advisors are not going to reach out to you and be like okay now how are your classes doing are you doing okay are you blah 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 are you eating enough whatever like whatever you were going to worry about they have too many kids to worry about as well so they're just not going to be checking in on you. It is your job to take initiative. If you need help in a class, you go seek it out. If you're struggling with this and that, you need to contact someone. If you have an issue with your payment plan or your ID isn't working, no one's going to be there. You need to find that email, set up a meeting with them, and basically do everything on your own. So that's a big um, jump in how professors and classes are like in college. It is so big windy. Can you chill? I'm trying to film. All right, next for your day-to-day -day life. Like I already said, you are in charge of everything that you do. You're in charge of setting up your alarm to wake up as to, all the way to when you go to bed. You're in charge of figuring out your schedule to make sure it works around your plan. You're in charge of making sure you get to eat food, make sure your laundry's done, make sure your room is clean. Like literally every single aspect of your day, no one is there to tell you when to do it, how to do it, or what to do. So you are now in charge of every single little thing. For example, if you miss class, if you need to get food, if you want to go do a workout, you need to plan that around your schedule. If you want to do laundry, you need to figure out what time to do that. Like literally, oh, the most important thing, if you get sick, 
you take care of yourself like i had the flu really bad literally was on bed rest like could not stand up i was going to faint and i had to walk my ass to the health center on campus like your parents aren't there to feed you like chicken soup no one's there to get you food if you can't go to the dining hall like i door dashed food for like four days in a row because i literally physically could not walk i had such a bad fever so if you get sick once again on you hopefully you have good friends that can help you out but you are in charge of everything in your life now so just get used to that and it's going to be on you if you succeed on you if you fail no one's going to be holding your hand no one's going to be helping you so you are in charge of pretty much everything but along with that you also have more freedom so you can choose if you want to stay up late one night or if you have a class to go to or you're feeling tired and you don't want to go or if you want to watch a movie one night and stay up a little bit later or if you want to go out one night or if you want to stay in one night like you have more freedom to do what you want when you want so there's also pluses and cons to everything but basically you are uh, in charge of everything and you have to determine what's best for you day to day so that's a pretty different too no one's going to help you like make your schedule and day to day if you feel lost and like pretty alone that is really normal i think um a lot of the times you're going to find yourself being alone and that's just what college life is like sometimes you have to eat alone by yourself if you're like in between classes because everyone's schedule is so 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 different it's not like high school where you have a set lunch time you have a set time to leave you have a set time to come people have classes all day like from anywhere from 8 a.m to 6 p.m i think is the last class maybe even later if you have exams i had exams that started at like 8 p.m so everyone's schedule is different everyone is going around doing their own thing making sure everything's working for them they're on their own schedule on their own time some people have sports to do some people have a job to go to some people have class back to back whatever so you're going to be feeling alone and probably lost like just like mentally just like lost like and confused and like feel um, a little bit hopeless maybe your first like week or two maybe even month I don't know that is normal don't worry you're going to work through it you're going to get over it so that's normal if you feel that don't worry um but just something to know about and uh, look forward to honestly next what your food is actually like so like i said everyone has their own schedule and you're going to be eating at like super random times so if your monday wednesday friday class is at a different time than your tuesday thursday class some days you may eat at 11 some days you may eat at 2 p.m sometimes you don't even have time to eat and you have to just go grab a bar sometimes you don't want to eat sometimes you have a snack like your eating is going to be pretty random and sometimes you get to find times with your friends to coordinate lunch sometimes you just have to go in and grab something by yourself same thing with dinner um, and going along with that, the food is like very okay. <laughs> like you're just gonna get used to it. Some days it's a different, some days some things are the same. It's not like horrible, but it's not amazing either. So you're just going to be getting used to eating at a dining hall and yeah, that's about it with that. It's just pretty okay. <laughs> and also normally in the dining halls, you're going, to, you're going to see some people that you know, but sometimes you'll see people in there like studying, doing work in between classes. Sometimes you're going to see people like just hanging out with friends, with no backpack, just getting food. You know, sometimes it's a quick, like I have 15 minutes to eat and to run to our next class. So it's going to be really different depending on what you see and what your schedule is like, but that's what your food is going to be like for the most part. Next, what's studying in college is actually like? So studying is going to take up a lot of your free time and most of the weekends are planned around what time you're going to study. So my friends and I would be like, okay, so we're going to study on Saturday from let's say like one or 2 p.m. So you have to wake up late, do whatever you want in the morning, go work out or go eat or whatever, and then text each other. And then the rest of the day, we're just going to be sitting at ISC or sitting at SWEM or whatever, and sitting at the bookstore, grabbing a coffee. So a lot of your days are spent around studying. And if you have free time in between classes, people are normally studying with that too. So studying takes up a lot of your time. You're going to have a lot of work to do, a lot of things to study for. So basically when you can find a free time to do it, it's better than procrastinating, putting it off, even though I definitely procrastinate a little bit. I mean, it ends up working out in the end. <laughs> That's why people procrastinate, right? But anyways, that's what studying is like. It's going to take up a lot of your time. So just know that. Next, what well, going out is actually like. Um, so I did not party at all in high school. I just wasn't my vibe. I don't even go out that much in college. But what going out is actually like is some people go, some people don't. You are not pressured to by any means. Um, I think I went out during my orientation week when we were told we were not supposed to, but we wanted to go out and meet people, so we did. Sorry, orientation aids. Um, 
and the most fun part of going out for me is getting ready like you have to do your makeup your hair you're all sitting in your friends rooms together maybe you have music playing it's just fun to do that and then going out it's it's like not that great like if you go to a party like tons of people everywhere you're going to be really fucking sweaty really hot everyone's going to be around you you're probably going to be in a basement somewhere and there's going to be really bright lights, loud music. Maybe the music isn't even that great. I don't know. But you get to meet people, mess around, whatever you want to do. I don't know. It's it's fun if you're in the mood to do it. If not, whatever. Sometimes just getting ready to go out is even more fun than actually going out. Um, but yeah, you get to meet people when you go out. But other than that, it's just something fun to do if you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, not a big deal, whatever. It's not the end of the world. It's not really a thing that people force you to do. If you want to go out, if you don't, it doesn't really matter. William Mary, whatsoever. Um, yeah, but you're going to be tired the next day, and some days it's worth it, some days it's not. You definitely have a couple days where you wake up the next morning, and maybe you have to go to class, and you're like, well, I feel like crap. But basically, that goes along with picking your own life, you know, picking your own decisions, what you want to do. So you got to decide if that's what's best for you in the moment, and if you want to do it or not. So that's that on going out next so spending extra money so most of your college stuff is going to be paid for your meal plan your residence whatever you're living in um but there's definitely days where you're going to want to spend money on extra stuff my first thing is definitely needing to buy like toiletry things like shampoo and conditioner and face wash and whatever you need to buy toothbrush toothpaste all that stuff is going to be spent on your own money you need to go off campus to buy that so that's one that you spend money on the second thing is probably food. You're going to get tired of eating at the dining hall, so you can go to like a restaurant or go to Panera or Chick-fil-A or something like that to switch up your food so people spend money on that. So I usually hair in my face. Um, and then also going with that is like snacks. So if you want to buy like snacks for your dorm room, you're going to be paying your own money for that as well and going on with spending money some people get a job some people don't get a job if you get a job it's one more thing to add to your life that you need to uh, handle and make sure that your schedule aligns with your school schedule but yeah you have to budget yourself and once again you have to make your own decisions so if people are going out to get dinner one day and you think that oh maybe i don't want to spend my money on that today i'd rather save it for a different day you can go to the dining hall so basically once again you are in charge of your life you are you know in control of literally everything that you do you are free you have so much freedom so it's going to depend on what you want to spend your money on how you want to spend your money if you want to spend your money whatever what your circumstance is so that's the take on spending extra money in college and the last thing that i have written down is the reality of meeting people like i said you're probably not going to be meeting people in classes unless you have a small class of like 10 to 15 people then you may meet a couple people but other than that people do not talk when they go to class their job is to get in learn get out Go to the next class whatever do their own thing everyone is on their own schedule so you may not meet people in class your closest friends are going to the people that you live with so people that live in your hall in your dorm whatever you're going to become the closest with those people specifically during your freshman orientation you'll meet your closest friends probably that way and then through your friends you'll meet other friends if they meet other people and then also if you join a sorority or like a frat then you can meet people that way as well or if you go out but pretty much freshmen all want to make new friends because you come into college not knowing anyone probably and so everyone is super nice to each other and really talkative so if you see someone that you want to be friends with maybe be like hey let's go grab a coffee like once again you are in charge of your life no one's going to make friends for you or you know ask you to like come join like hi be in our friend group like i don't know if people do that in high school if that's how you meet people i don't know the point is you don't have a set class or a set grade or a set small number of people that are always going to be there everyone has their own schedule everyone's doing different things so it's on you to uh be social and if you feel like you know you want to make a group, good group of friends it's on you to go out and reach out to people and um seem like super nice and welcoming does that make sense i don't know what i'm trying to say here basically your relationships are going to be formed most likely in your dorm and your hallmates or freshman year and then it's on you to be social and reach out to people and meet other people that way if you want to i don't know does that even make sense <laughs> you know what i mean probably all right you guys that is everything that i have for my video i hope this helped you out show you guys what college life is actually like and the reality of what college is like 
I know I had a lot of questions and I was just curious of what college life would be like. The main takeaway I would say is that you are going to be in control of every single thing that you do, which is going to feel weird at first with you with no one telling you what your schedule is or what you should do here and there. You're going to make every single decision for yourself. So get used to that. Look forward to it. It's a blessing and a curse sometimes. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. If you have any other questions, I didn't answer something, DM me at GabbyBergFit on Instagram. But I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have such an amazing day when you're watching this. Bye, guys.